Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to fix your PlayStation 5 when the database is corrupted. So let's go ahead and jump the view right now. So if you're using your PlayStation 5 and all of a sudden you get something on your screen that says your database is corrupted, go ahead and turn off your PlayStation. So you can press the PlayStation button and then go to the control center and then go to turn off right here. Otherwise, go ahead and hold down the power button on the edge of your PlayStation. And just hold this down, you'll hear one beep, and then you should hear another beep, and your PlayStation will completely turn off now. So when it's completely turned off and there's no light on the light bar, plug in a USB cable so you can plug in your controller. So I'm going to unplug my headset, then plug this in, and then I'm going to plug in my controller. So we'll need this to operate the safe mode menu. So let's plug in my controller now. Now that my PlayStation is completely 100% turned off, there's no light right here. Hold down the power button once again. You will hear one beep, and then you will hear another beep like five to 10 seconds later. So I heard the second beep right now, and my PlayStation 5 will restart into the safe mode menu. It says. Connect the controller using the USB cable and then press the PlayStation button. So the controller is connected. Let's press the PlayStation button. And now I'm able to operate the safe mode menu. Let's go on down to where it says clear cache and rebuild database. So let's select this with X. And the first thing we can do is clear the system software cache, press X. Now what we want to do is rebuild the database on our PlayStation 5. So let's go back to the same menu. And we will once again have to turn off our PlayStation because it did turn on after clearing the cache. So our PlayStation once again is turning off. Now let's go back down to option number five and go to rebuild database. The database will be rebuilt. It might take a few hours to rebuild, but in my experience it only takes like five to 10 minutes. Now let's wait for it to rebuild the database and it shouldn't take long whatsoever. And if you are having problems with corrupted data or something like that, this should go ahead and fix it. And I've had this issue many times with my new SSD that I installed on my PlayStation. So it's given me an estimated time of six minutes left, not a few hours. So don't be intimidated by the verbiage on that. And once it goes ahead and rebuilds the database, the PlayStation 4 will simply restart. Whatever kind of database corruption errors that you are having should be fixed. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.